The young girl in our next story was a fourth grade student when she learned a valuable lesson that would one day become responsible for a miracle. It's a lesson we all should learn. For like the child in this story, it could mean the difference between life and death. In May of 2000, the fourth grade class of Bibenzi Elementary School received some very important training. Hi, my name is Brenda May, and I'm here to help y'all with Primary Emergency Training Week, or Pet Week. And what we're we going teach to primary emergency training to kids so that they'll know how to react in an emergency situation because you never know what's going to come your way. What kind of things do you think are emergencies? What is an emergency? An alert on when someone's in pain or... The PET program is fun because the kids get to interact and uh, be a part of the learning process. We're going to learn how to do stop, drop, and roll. What I'm going to do first, if I'm on fire, okay, is I'm going to put my hands over my face. Okay, Danielle, stop. Ten-year-old Danielle Lee especially enjoyed the classes. Yeah. I found PET week. Very interesting because it teaches you a lot of things that you need to know in case of emergency. Okay, we're going to talk about the Heimlich maneuver and what you do if someone's choking. The universal sign for choking is placing their hands on their throat. Okay, when anybody's doing this, you know that they're choking. Okay. I feel like the topics that we're talking about are things that they relate to. They want to know about choking because there's a possibility that anyone can be choking at any time. You're going to stand behind them, okay? And you're going to wrap your arms around their waist. And I'm going to make a fist with my thumb toward her body. And I'm going to place the other hand on top of this fist. Make sure my elbows are upward. What I remember about Danielle is that she was very attentive, very interested in what we were doing. And I'm going to make inward and upward motions to the body. You're going to push one, two, three. And hopefully it comes out. But if it doesn't, you do it again. One, two, three. It was in the hard to learn these techniques that she was teaching us if you paid attention. Just remember, if you're ever in an emergency situation, just stay calm. Now go enjoy your recess. <laughs> Little did Danielle know that what she learned in class would soon mean the difference between life and death. One week later, her mother Rochelle was picking up Danielle's four-year-old brother Brandon from daycare. Long day. You tired, aren't you? It was an ordinary day. I picked Brandon up and we just get in the car and just start talking about what happened today. We sing our favorite songs together and we laugh and we joke. We just have a good time together. Um, that's our personal time for the two of us before we pick up Danielle. Their next stop, the Boys and Girls Club, where Danielle participated in after school activities. I do give her a hug every day and I give her a kiss and I tell her I love and how much I missed her. Bye! Another part of their daily routine was making a mad dash to the car. First one to the car is the winner, last one to ride it. Brandon gets in front of us. We always give him a head start. Run! I'm giving you a head start. Then I'm going to pass you. It's when we're sitting to the car, we get all excited. Look at Brandon. He's trying to win. Oh, man. You always win. Good job, bud. We got to the door. I, I like the door. Um, then went to her side to get in and buckle. And I proceeded to buckle Brandon up in his car seat. Always in the back, losing. Sometimes I'll be the right egg. This is this way. All set. As they pulled out of the parking lot, little Brandon began choking. <laughs> I didn't know what was wrong, but I knew something was wrong with my baby because he wasn't saying anything. Oh, God. Danielle, can you get him out? Oh, oh my God. He couldn't breathe. We know he couldn't breathe. He couldn't cry. He couldn't do anything. 
and I just started patting him because I know it had to be within his throat. She started to pat him on the back, but I knew it wasn't gonna work. She was hollering like, Mom, don't don't pat his back. You never pat anyone's back if they're choking. And she's like, let me do it. And I just like gave the baby over. With her brother's life in her hands, Danielle quickly began the emergency technique she'd learned just a week before. And I'm going to place my other hand over the fist. It was very hard to do it on Brandon because he's very small. I did it once. It wasn't working. At that time, I was very, very scared. What if I lost him? And hopefully it comes out. But if it doesn't, you do it again. After the second time and it didn't work, I was afraid it wasn't going to work. Oh my God! I was screaming for help, but no one could hear me because no one was around. I don't think I've ever been that scared in my life. Give it back, Danielle. It's not working. But she didn't. She tried again. She tried for the third time. On the third time, I tried very hard. One, two, three. She called. The candy came up. And I just started hollering, Danielle, you did it. You did it. It's out. <laughs> and we just, like, grabbed each other and just embraced, and we cried, and we hugged, and we was thanking God the whole time. Danielle was my angel that day because she saved her brother's life. I was very excited that I did something special. When word reached her teacher, Brenda May paid the family a visit. When Danielle told me about saving her brother, I just hardly could believe it. I really feel like this was just a miracle that we taught the course a week before Danielle needed to perform this on Brandon. The PET program is the best thing I think that the school has right now. I'm a living witness that my son's life was saved that day because of that program. I think it was a miracle of my sister saved my life. I could not imagine life without Brandon. I think it was Brandon's guardian angel that day. Move your face. <laughs> I hope you all paid close attention to that story because you never know when you might be called on to perform a miracle. Well, for her quick thinking, Danielle received a special award from supermodel Tyra Banks, along with a $5,000 savings bond. We wanted to give her another moment in the spotlight, so she and her family join us now from their home in Arlington, Texas. Hello, everyone. Hi, Richard. How are you all doing? Fine. Hey, Danielle, I understand that you got a special award. Yes, I did. I got this award from Tyra Banks. I also met her. I got these and wings and a $5,000 savings fund. Well, that is terrific. Hey, Brandon, you proud of your big sister? Yes. Why? Because she saved my life. Yes, she did. And, Dad, I understand you're a fireman. You must be especially proud of Danielle. I'm very amazed to what Danielle did, being her age and having the maturity to stay calm and save her little brother's life. I'm very proud of her. Well, we all are. Rochelle, the producers told me that you had something you wanted to say to the volunteers of the PET program. Yes. I would like to say thank you to all the volunteers that had anything to do with the training at BBC Elementary, and I would recommend that other parents get this into their school. Excellent. And I want to thank you for sharing your story with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.